Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss about adsorption isotherms and isobars. As I told you earlier while discussing about factors affecting adsorption, we are going to discuss about how the adsorption varies with temperature and pressure in the form of graphical representation in this video. And this power portion is in page number 73-74 in your second volume book. Adsorption isotherms. Iso means same, therm means temperature. Variation of adsorption at constant temperature that is, temperature is going to be maintained constant. Pressure is going to be uh, changing and variation of adsorption with respect to pressure at constant temperature is studied in the form of a graph which is drawn between amount of adsorption versus pressure. Pressure is taken in the x-axis and amount of adsorption is taken in the y-axis. You may have a question, how do you calculate amount of adsorption? Amount of adsorption can be calculated by having the value x by m. What is x? X is the amount of adsorbate and M is the amount of adsorbent which means the amount of adsorption can be defined as the quantity of adsorbate molecules adsorbed per unit gram of the adsorbent. Quantity of adsorbate molecules adsorbed per unit gram of the adsorbent. So, isotherms can also be defined this way. A plot, a graph between the amount of adsorbate adsorbed and pressure at constant temperature is called as an adsorption isotherm. Adsorption isotherms are studied by two scientists, Friendlich and Langmuir. We are going to discuss about the adsorption isotherm as studied by Friendlich, not about Langmuir's isotherms. Friendlich, after observing the amount of adsorption by the change of pressure at constant temperature, he proposed an equation x by m is directly proportional to P, where X is the amount of adsorbate adsorbed per unit gram of the adsorbent, which is in turn termed as amount of adsorption with respect to pressure. X by M is equal to K into P power 1 by N. What is K? K is the proportionality constant. This proportionality constant is a representation of adsorption rate constant where n is a constant value which is pertaining to the adsorbing species that is if charcoal is used to adsorb a gas the value of n is constant for charcoal if some other nickel or iron metal surfaces are going to be used to adsorb hydrogen or nitrogen then the n value is, is different for those metals. So it is a constant for particular adsorbent. It is usually less than unity. He drew a graph between x by m and p pressure. Pressure in the x-axis and x by m is in the y-axis. Then it is called as an isotherm because it is uh, uh, observed at constant temperature. As the pressure increases, the adsorption increased. Okay, the amount of adsorption also increased. Why it is it is a plateau over there? Why it is flat? It if it is keep on increasing, the graph must be like this. Why there is a plateau? There is no more space for the available on the adsorbent for the adsorbent molecules to get adsorbed. The adsorbate molecules, there is no available space for the adsorbate molecules to get adsorbed onto the adsorbent. In that case, it becomes a plateau. However, the pressure is increased, 
the adsorption cannot increase so it is a plateau and here it is difficult to calculate the slope value from here it x by m is proportional to p power 1 and here x by m is proportional to p naught and in between x by m is proportional to p power 1 by n so it is difficult to calculate the slope value so in order to rectify that the friend ledge equation is modified by taking log on both sides log x by m is equal to log k multiplication becomes plus log p power 1 by n p power 1 by n log of x to the power m is m log x so p power 1 by n becomes 1 by n log p this equation resembles y is equal to mx plus c when log p is taken in the x axis and log x by m is taken in the y axis then the slope value will be 1 by m slope value will be 1 by n and when you extrapolate the straight line the graph is a straight line so only it uh, resembles y equal to mx plus c Where, while extrapolating the straight line it uh, intercepts the y axis at c c is equal to log k and the graph can be shown here log x by m in the x axis log p in the y axis and it is a straight line the slope is 1 by n and it uh, intercepts x y axis at log k the limitations of friendlich equation it is purely empirical see it is studied for a limited pressure range that means for one atmospheric pressure they study that and for under atmosphere they said that the number of time time uh, adsorption amount of adsorption uh, increases same number of times that means it is purely empirical and k and n value are represented as constant but they found to increase with temperature these are the two disadvantages or limitations of adsorption isotherms friendlich adsorption isotherms now adsorption isobars iso means same bar means pressure so at constant pressure the isotherm isobars are studied so the graph is drawn between absorb amount of adsorption x by m versus temperature and this graph is drawn for four both the physical adsorption and chemical adsorption or chemisorption physical adsorption the graph as the temperature increases the adsorption decreases because the van der waals force of attraction decreases so amount of adsorption x by m decrease with increase in temperature in the case of chemical adsorption the with increase in temperature the adsorption found to increase initially and then it started decreasing why it is found to increase it is due to requirement of activation of the surface that is formation of activated complex requires energy that means the adsorbent adsorbs molecules forming bonds and this requires some activation energy and that has been utilized by the rise of temperature and later on with enormous amount of increase of temperature with the high rise of temperature the bond form starts breaking up and the adsorbent molecules gets desorbed hence it is said that x by m increase first that is due to formation of activator complex and then decrease that is due to desorption as kinetic energy of adsorbent molecules increases with rise in temperature so that's all about adsorption isotherms and isobars we'll catch you up in the next video thank you